Hey, this is B for uh, GPC. I'm gonna kind of talk about my bloodline a little bit, kind of go through the stats and just kind of what my goal is and what uh, kind of things you want to look out for that when you're leveling up. Um, so, kind of the first stat is PvP. PvP is one of the most sought out stats for any class. Um, here I've got about 46,000 crit. Um, I try to push crit whenever I can. Um, the only problem uh, right now is that people can uh, pretty much triple your crit with uh, the amount of toughness you can get with godly rolls on their exos and etc. Um, on my character I kind of pretty much forego the parry and dodge right now. Uh, my goal was to get about a hundred thousand toughness on character. Uh, deadly I've been shooting maybe a little too high um, as you can see about 87,000 um, right now the uh, formula that the, the helpline has created was about uh, your total attack which is your character attack your endo and your uh, exos combine all those attacks and you kind of get a uh, take that divided by the 14.44 and that's how much deadly you want to have spread out or mainly on your character which I do uh, so here can formulate that later if need be or another video more in depth but this is kind of an overview uh, plus damage that's mostly uh, it's pretty low for my power uh, around my power area um, you know summoners have you know 1.5 million plus damage uh, I know Hall's Casey's got about 1.5 as a warrior um, uh, Sunken account which is the highest bloodline he has about 800,000. I'm rocking a total of uh, 285,000. So need to work on that. Um, additional damage and immunity. The three biggest stats um, that I would work on is your PVP and your blessing stats. Getting additional plus damage. Uh, I know Sunkin account is running about 117 additional damage. Immunity is about 72%, or mine is 72%, his is about 115. This has pretty much been the game changer as far as when I'm testing my stats versus higher bloods that have uh, more uh, level 10 gems. Um, the gems alone and PvP power is basically what destroys me at all times. Um, so working on your gems is, I would say, the most important uh, aspect of leveling up your character. We can kind of go through, you know, uh, skills, you know, always use Bloodthirsty Shadows at all times unless you're doing melee or apex where you just want to die quickly, uh, come back, you know, minus uh, the damage of a higher end player because um, they summoners are extremely defense heavy. Uh, all other things, Bloodthirsty Shadows is great. Um, here's Master Skills when you get to level 240. As you can see, you know I'm leveling up my character's attack. And haven't done much with the defense yet. Uh, deploy, don't worry about that till you're maxed out on other stuff. Uh, but focus on your attack on Endo. Haven't really done much. I think those were a couple of misclicks on that shield. Um, Exo, um, you know, HP, PDEF, and MDEF uh, are your go to choices for those. Um, looks fusion, I'm rocking about, yeah, seven, level 17 on wings, uh, about 55 on fashion, uh, only one level, or no levels on my fantasy weapon yet, and one level on my Trex. Um, this is the next, you know, this is obviously you get PvP power from leveling these up. This will give you more PvP than just going here. Uh, as you can see, you only get about four, four PvP power versus uh, eight. So you're doubling your PvP doing it this way. 
Let's see, achievements, shape shifting. I'm getting close to level 30, which is what you need to get to your second shapeshift ability. I do have these two books, by the way, they're in the warehouse. But once I get level three or 30, I'll be able to do shapeshift two, which I'm kind of excited to try. Also, when you get the books here, use those, but you also have to go to your alt and you have to have another two to unlock your alt second ability our second level. Let's see, here's your stats from your uh, godly weapons, I mean your uh, shape-shifting bonus. Um, let's kind of go, let's go to heroes now. Um, only plus four, I just kind of started my hella hella Odin set, uh, so still a little bit behind. So here's my deploys stats right now. Trying to push as much attack as I possibly can on endo. That's the main goal for your endo. Um, trying to get as much crit as well. I'm trying to push to 40,000 on the uh, crit on my endo. Parry, dodge, don't care. Toughness, kind of been going back and forth if I actually need you know, 84,000 toughness. Um, again, kind of stacking a little bit of deadly on my endo uh, for uh, times when you get a bonus to attack. Um, so not only do you want to take your attack total on your endo character and exo uh, to get that deadly 14.44, but I try to think about when I get 150% uh, bonus when my deploy dies. So when my hella deploy dies, you get, uh, let's see, so, character PvP, after death, the uh, master attack 100% for 15 seconds. So my deploy dies, I get that 100%. So I try to go for a goal that would kind of match all of my attack and take my deadly and kind of uh, roll with that high-end attack even with the 100%. So that's why my deadly is a little bit higher than probably most or some. Um, you know, try to push some plus damage on there. Um, just because you don't need a lot of other stats on endo other than pure offense. Um, so uh, you can see my additional damage blessings at 25% and immunity at 28. Um, uh, before I really started uh, going towards the immunity and additional damage blessings, I was just any gem, just go and whatever. Now I kind of focus on additional damage on my gem blessings. Uh, so that's why the immunity is a little bit higher because I was, uh, I didn't know better then. Uh, Exo, you know, rocking about 20 million HP. Attack is, you know, it's 400,000, it's okay. Um, MDEF, PDEF, I definitely need to see that a little bit higher. Um, I have tried running uh, 500,000 MDEF before against uh, uh, summoners and it seemed to do about a hundred and twenty thousand damage difference which in all honesty when a summoner is hitting you for you know two million and they've got their rain their normal attacks princess all that combined it's really not that impressive uh, to to gain that much so I guess when all stats are kind of up you know I'll focus on some MDEF PDEF but could be other attributes that um, I need to uh, look at uh, to maybe increase the efficiency of MDEF PDEF. Uh, crit, it's low. My treasures are not that great yet. Uh, I've only got a few uh, treasures that are level 120, and I'll kind of look at that later. But, you know, so almost 9,000 crit. Parry, 25,000. Try to get that up to, you know, 30, 40, even 50,000 parry would be great. Um, toughness, I've been testing out a few things. I'm um, usually about 104 to 110,000 toughness. Uh, took some other stats away uh, for some crit for my character, testing that out. So right now I'm at 81,000. Uh, Deadly's 31,000, not bad. Plus damage, 136. Minus damage, probably need to get that, you know, in the two, three, four hundred thousand range. Um, and then additional damage and obviously the immunity, almost at 40%. Uh, need to raise that 
need to get that as high as possible for my exo survivability. Um, let's see, enchants, those are all 100. Training, got the orbs. Um, just got the Hella, so uh, I won't have any levels for that yet. Uh, right now, rocking level 13, 22, and 19. You can kind of see the effects, which uh, the Queen Heart that gave us out like eight months ago and yet to have seen anything with it. Um, so yeah, so rocking right now just the uh, level 10 on that one. Uh, Odin, uh, 10, 16, 13. Kind of see next next buff is two percent. Kind of see the stats there. Uh, Baja used to be my XO, so it had a little bit more. I almost had uh, level twenty on all of these. You kind of see the stats here. Kind of go slower. So it does pretty decent. Um, and again, it just goes up to two percent. Uh, Bella. I just got these. this one today. Uh, it's level 2 on that one. Nothing on the on here. Evolved. Kind of my deploy. I just got it to the very end. You know, you get the attack HP. Here's you know, another attack HP. Um, but make sure you equip the red. You don't want to get to the red and have an or or gold equipped. Um, these each change the layout of um, what cards can be placed. So, you know, that one, um, it's a legendary plus card, or, uh, um, I'm sorry, what is it? I forget what they're actually called. Um, this one's just got a fist, and this could change to another, you know, looks like a down vote, <laughs> down vote arrow. So you could have more of those. So as you can see, so like, that one has the top, you just kind of see that layout. My Endo, it has the top as well, but they do actually, in fact, have different cards. Never mind. Okay. Let's see, and we've got a few cards. I don't think I have that many. I still need to get that HP. It fails a lot, but I think I have a few decent endo cards, if I can see, and another plus 15, oh, crit 25%, that's always a nice one. Okay, so in like my XO, I'm trying to unlock all of these first, because you do get, you know, some power from just unlocking them, but I equipped the HP, parry, and PDF, the other one is uh, toughness, HP and minus damage. Let's see, we can go to setup. As you can see, my hero setup Hella, Hella, Odin. My knights. Um, definitely need to increase Bella. Um, if I put, you know, Baja here, this would be up in the 50 and 60,000 MDEF PDEF, but I'm still working on my endo attack and getting my XO Hero HP up. So that's why I'm using these three. I still need to change these to red uh, red uh, treasures. And here's just a few of my other ones. They're all pretty low levels. I've been working on other things as of late. Here's my treasures. So kind of the most important treasures on the exo is like on odin it's the tail um assassin creed on if you have your uh, baja still on your exo but this one's your toughness get this to 120 as quick as possible um your next um, treasure you want to focus in is your parry get that to 120 um actually i would do that a little bit later my first things I did was my exo toughness then I went to my endo crit this is the most important one for your endo other than your um, your uh, deadly which is this right here 
So I went from exo to endo, and then I went, I stayed on the endo and did my deadly, get that up. Then I went, then I'm on my exo for parry. My next set will be my endo's toughness, and kind of go on from there, then, you know, get my exo's toughness up, or my exo's crit up, and just kind of wiggle around that. Refine protection. I probably should have just went like parry and mdef, but I had a little bit of dodge and mdef, and I just called it good. Uh, minus damage and toughness, obviously for your your exo. I mean, you don't have to go minus damage, but I would do toughness and like pdef or toughness and mdef or uh, minus damage. Um, this one you can either go like a crit and attack or toughness. Nah, I probably only do this way: toughness and crit, or crit and attack. And light plus damage and deadly. That's pretty much the only ones I would do on your uh, endo. And then deploy, and basically whatever I had left. I've just been going that route. <clears throat> Double stars, hella. So you will be using the keels. So I've got both sets with keels. Odin, I'm rocking Chariot. Uh, if you're really low on HP, you can throw in your crown to boost your HP if need be. Runes, rocking the, the old Rage for some extra PvP. Um, I've got Persa because it already has low HP, so I run the Persas to keep the Endo alive as much as possible. Um, you can use the Sharp. My Sharps were better than my onslaughts. I would actually rather have onslaughts for uh, additional attack percent versus just the plus damage because uh, bloodlines scale better with uh, attack than damage. And for XO because you know anywhere from say 16 at the lowest 16 million HP on your endo or your XO <coughs> I would probably still probably do a print or a Persa but uh, you can start, you know, dabbing into the uh, steel armor because that all damage reduction, 25% is really nice, especially when you have, you know, 20, you know, 30 million HP on your Odin, uh, which is really nice to have. Um, strengthen. Okay, let's go to forge. Okay, purify. You know, obviously get all your gold stats. Refine conjuring. I just been throwing attack deadly. I had a few plus damages that I threw in there, but mostly all attack and deadly. Um, MDEF and a few HPs, as you can see. Need to refine those a little bit more. And you can see some PDEF, MDEF, so on and so on. Uh, godly weapon. I'm rocking a level 9 right now, got the weapon 9. Looks like I'm getting close to 10. Awakening. Uh, I've been testing a ton of different variations. Um, you know, here's a few of my save stats that I can run to. Let's go through these real quick. I guess if I ever need some MDEF, might as well throw that in there real quick. few decent rolls. This one, that character toughness is really hard to let go, but I really like to get to that uh, Exo Hero PDEF, maybe NDEF here sometime soon, but for now, that one wins. Just changed the crit today, just testing out some things. Normally I just run the Exo Toughness 120. Um, Endo Hero Toughness, not, probably end up going to the the uh, endo hero plus damage, throw out some more damage out of there. But right now, I've been sticking with my toughness on endo. Um, Exo hero HP. You know, I've got another character PDF, be kind of nice, or Exo hero PDF. But 
rolling blues, so right now I'm just staying with what I got. Instruments. I have the old ones maxed out, and I've only got two so far. You've got to get these fairy crystals, which you can only get, uh, was it 15 every event? So now it also takes. Oh, I'm not even done yet. I've got to still strengthen this one. But when you're maxed, it'll say you need 35 uh, of the red crystals, not these, not the fairy crystals. But um, yeah, so that one's going to take a while. And you can tune your instruments. I didn't even start on deploy because I just don't give a crap about deploy yet. But I guess if I need to throw in some uh, power fluff, I can finish this one off. And the this one unlocks at level 7 instead of 10 like the older ones they used to be you had to have a level 10 uh, uh, goddess let's see goddess setup <clears throat> let's see obviously work on some of your uh, goddess favors you know kind of pick and choose what you what stats you're wanting to throw in there you know, I should probably be a lot higher than these um, but I don't AFK in the wilds like I should, so those are a little lower. Um, holy places, right now I've got the three Valkyries, um, and here's your level 10 uh, goddess, Melody Goddess, which beforehand you had to have a level 10 to unlock everything, and now it's a level 7, which is this one, the second one right here. I just missed level seven so that was disappointing let's see um, your deploy I, I threw my dodge in here because your deploy can't be altered so it can basically dodge and parry but I just figured just do the dodge on these um, endo I should probably have you know probably three Valkyries on this as well but um, this will probably be replaced um, I throw it on my deploy at some point, but because uh, my de my deadly is pretty high already. Okay, um, but I mean they do pretty decent attack and toughness, you know, crit attack. But uh, with some of the uh, some of these, they have the extra stats because of the mounts. Uh, I'll show you my exo before I go to there. Mostly parry. If you want to focus on your EXO, as long as with some HP, because of the bonus 50%. Artifacts. Go to my character. I'm going to change my character because I'm too far behind on PvP. I'm going to go with the Odin set, like this, for that extra PvP. Oh, wrong set. Um, where does it show that? Was it here? Increase three, power three, 30. Okay, so each one of these is 30. And then your four, four place holy set right here. Uh, gives you holy skill plus 50%. So this will be changed. Um, Endo will be staying here. But I'll go through what I have so far. I think I just finished my character, and now I'm going to be changing it all to Deadly, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, endo is kind of where I'm at right now. And real quick, just kind of show my EXO stats. And here's the mounts that they pretty much forgot about, and all the new red goddesses don't have mounts to add to them. But these are maxed. This one, yeah, it's maxed as well. And you can see it costs a little bit for every upgrade. Six to seven is 3,000 gems. Those are the same, yeah. Uh, four to five is 2,000 gems. 78 is 35 100 gems. I think I said thousand on the other one, but you used oh, 3,000. That's right. 
five to six, yeah, twenty five hundred. Four to five, two thousand, and three to four is fifteen hundred. Gives you pretty good stats. Just takes a lot of gems to max out. Well, a lot of people will do that. Is there anything I missed on here? No. Um, mounts. You know, here's the last mount. Yay. You got the rankings right here. Oh, that's not this B4. That's the other B4. Um, rewards for the rankings. Weapons, clothing, got the tracks, and here's where you can grab some crit. Make sure you get these updated. Um, go out to gems. All right, so as you can see, I have attack gems on every single thing. I've got a few plus damage. But mostly it's all deadly and toughness. Here's my secret gems. Throwing in some more attack and deadly. A few toughness. I still need to finish up the blessings. I just threw these on a couple days ago. Uh, mounts, same thing. You know, all attack, deadly, half deadly, half attack. All pretty much toughness except for this guy. I need to do these blessings. My others. And I had to do some fillers in here. So, yay, lovely HP gem. Another HP gem. Uh, those will be changed out whenever I get some extra stuff. Few, few defensive on here. That's all I had left on my deploy. My deploy, not much. I haven't even unlocked the second one because I just don't care right now. But endo, so again, all attack. This is where I'm focusing the plus damage now. Uh, and deadly, I had a few toughness in there just to make sure. Uh, I cleared enough toughness and I'll start uh, getting my attack. But I have so many attack gems to level up on everything that. It's hard to focus on the secret gems right now. Uh, Exo, pretty much all defensive stats. You know, I need to start building that immunity up, getting level tens on those. Secret gems, same thing. I focus toughness, uh, MDF, PDF, and minus damage. Okay, let's go to the dragons. Um, top level on dragons is 200. I'm far from that. Um, as you can see, from a one star to a two star is 500. Two to 800, or from level two star to three is 800. Um, I do believe three to four is 1800. So there's that. Okay, um, so your crest, first thing you do, just level these things to 10 until you get the banner. Uh, level banner up to 20, and then focus on your equipped to 20. Everything else, you can start getting to 20, but um, these are your focus right here. Get, these, get this one to 20, then these three, and then those. You'll, uh, you'll see a big increase overall when you get your crest done. Skills, get that PVP power. That's one of the first ones that I would love to get, but it was my third one. Um, so this one goes to your character. As you can see, side effects to the character. This one's deploy, which is why I don't have this yet because I just don't care right now. Um, this one gives you 10% attack for your endo and HP 10% for your exo. Um, I guess you can see my uh, gold stats. I just took whatever I could for the first uh, four uh, dragon skills just to get to these bonuses. So, you know, 
I really don't care for HP and dodge on my endo, but uh, I got my 10% 10, 10 attack. Another HP, two, god, two golds pretty much down the drain because um, I'm too afraid to um, unlearn those uh, to lose that. So for me, I'd have to have thousands and thousands of this before I'd even try uh, getting rid of these gold. So you can only lock two, which sucks. So you literally have to reset skill, cost gems, and then to learn again. And hopefully you get two golds in a row, which is why this is a pain in the butt. Um, also, that was my endo. Here's my character. You know, HP's not bad. Pretty much anything on my character would be fine. All these stats need to be increased regardless. Um, Vipers, got a, I got these four equipped right now. Um, so Pit, Viper, uh, Wolf, the Blast, and Cliff. I do have a Dune, Abyss, and Hydra as well. Uh, Hydra, I wish it did a little bit more. I'm sure people are seeing uh, decent increase, you know, against the per uh, perseverance. But people are now getting so high in HP, uh, even summoners, where they just run the uh, the minus twenty five percent damage overall uh, with that steel armor instead of uh, being one shotted by bloodlines. They have enough uh, defense and HP to withstand most bloodlines alts one shots. Training, obviously, this is just to level them up. Uh, nothing too drastic here. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's see, social. I think this is just about the rings. Mm. Button rings, you know, 172. I should be closer to 200, but I did not focus on temple in the early days. Uh, jeans, looks like I'm almost to uh, a gold. Um, so you get, I think the highest is 3.6 on uh, purple, but uh, when you get to a gold, I think you can get up to 7.4, I do believe, or 7.5% uh, percent on your main attributes. So I would just save your uh, re uh, reorganize until you get to gold so you can match your characteristic stats um, and just kind of level these every day make sure you train them and pair them and make sure you only pair mutated genes like I went over one on this one on accident this one's almost done just needs one and this one I went over as well because I was not paying attention uh, you cannot also so if you are training you cannot pair so Make sure, like it's, if this is the one you want, make sure that's cleared. Uh, don't add this into the training when you're trying to pair up. So this makes it a lot easier for you to know exactly which one you're training because um, it doesn't give you characteristics of the gene, just the uh, star and level, which if there's a lot of them around the same, it's really hard to figure out which one it is. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of anything else. So kind of overall, I mean, obviously bloodlines, you want to focus on your attack. Um, here's my, um, attack, PvP power, and your blessings from your gems. That is pretty much uh, the best thing to do, period. Um, if you have any questions, just throw it in the channel and I'll uh, maybe do another in-depth video um, on a specific thing or uh, comment that you guys request. Thanks.